there, this is Maria from English Without Fear. It's almost the end of December, and I've been thinking about my progress with Spanish. Are you thinking about your progress with English? Have you thought about any new goals for 2020? Well, listen to my experience and my thoughts and then you can think about what you want to do in 2020. English Without Fear, where you can learn to speak English naturally through listening to stories. Yes, I've been thinking about the past year, what I can do now with Spanish compared to last year, last December. I started thinking about this because I went to lunch a few weeks ago with a Colombian friend, Lena. I've been helping Lena with her English since eh, maybe six months, but she prefers speaking Spanish with me. Well, Maria, that's good, right? Yes, but when we went to lunch a few weeks ago, it was very hard. Lena speaks fast. She speaks rapidly, and I can't understand a lot of what she says. Several times, three times, I said in Spanish, Lena, please speak more slowly. I can't understand. But she just had a lot she wanted to tell me. So I, I got stressed. My brain did not work very well. And when I try to speak Spanish, it's like I had forgotten everything. I left the restaurant feeling discouraged. I thought I had made more progress. But I am a language teacher, so on the way home in the car, I gave myself a pep talk. I said, Maria, you understand how the brain works. You know, as a teacher, Maria, that when you feel stressed, your brain shuts down. That's all that happened. Look, Maria, look at the progress you have made. This time last year, you had only about 180 hours of input listening to Spanish, reading Spanish, watching YouTubes in Spanish. Now, a year later, I am almost up to 800 hours of input. So I told myself, I said, Maria, you're making progress. It just takes a long time. It takes hours. So friend, with your English, don't stay discouraged if you're feeling discouraged. You know it's going to take a long time. Any skill, any language takes hours and hours and hours. Well, how many hours? I read a blog post from a friend, Michelle Whaley in Alaska. Russian is the first language she teaches, and she speaks some French, but she's been teaching three semesters, a year and a half. She's been teaching and learning Spanish. She did not want the job. She told the principal, my Spanish is not good enough. And he said, you're an excellent teacher. I know you can teach language. So she said yes. And now it's her second year, and it's halfway through the second year. And she wrote 
in her blog post that she feels like she can speak and narrate and tell stories to her students in Spanish and she feels a lot more comfortable. Well, that's great. So I wrote Michelle, Michelle, how many hours of Spanish input do you think you have? And she did the numbers. She made a rough estimate. What do I mean by rough estimate? Not exact. She hasn't written down every day how much time she spends with Spanish. But she did a rough, a general estimate. And she said, I think I have about 1,600 hours or more of Spanish input. That helps me. So I said to myself, okay, I have almost 800 hours. I want to make my goal for 2020 to add another 800 hours of Spanish input. Why? Because I want to see, I want to experiment, I think what will happen, but I want to check it out that in another year with about 800 more hours doubling what I have already, that I will feel more comfortable, more confident in my speaking. Has anything improved for me? Yes. My comprehension, my understanding, when people don't speak fast like Lena, my comprehension has really expanded and that encourages me. But the best thing that has happened is that my happiness with Spanish, my joy, my contentment, my passion, my desire to keep working with Spanish has really gone up, has increased, has augmented, and that makes me happy. Well, what about you? What have you seen, what have you noticed that you can do now with English since you started or in the past year? Are you encouraged? Where is their progress? And what is your goal for the year? Tell me. Tell me about your progress and tell me your goal. Leave me a comment below this video. And if you would like the written transcript for today's video, once I upload this to YouTube, I will transcribe it and I will post it on my website www.englishwithoutfear.com I hope you have a slow rest of the holidays. If you are a Christian, Merry Christmas. And don't give up. Keep working at your English. You will get better. I will get better with my Spanish if we don't give up. Well, that's it for this episode. I'm Maria from English Without Fear. Talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. For questions or comments, here's my email. 